There you go. Uh, good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Giorgio Crusso, a project coordinator at the Mountain Partnership Secretariat. And for those who are not familiar with the Mountain Partnership, uh, it is the United Nations Alliance uh, dedicated to improving the life lives of mountain people and protecting mountain environments around the world. Uh, the Mountain Partnership has a secretariat in Rome hosted by um, FAO in the headquarters. Now, uh, let me see, next slide. Uh, yes, uh, a few years ago, uh, the Mountain Partnership and the Global Island Partnership uh, started a collaboration under the name of Coalition of Fragile Ecosystems an alliance that works uh, in both mountain areas and islands, uh, which represent more or less 1.3 billion people uh, in the world. The mission of COFI, of the Coalition of Fragile Ecosystems, is uh, to promote commitments and investments uh, for improving the livelihoods of the communities living in fragile ecosystems and ensuring the protection of uh, their environments. Um, now, when we think about mountains and islands, we uh, imagine them as very uh, different from each other. But from a development perspective, they actually share uh, many challenges. First of all, the double challenge of being uh, very fragile ecosystems with very vulnerable populations. Uh, they have a high vulnerability to climate change and natural disasters. And then they share this uh, geographical and economic and political marginalization, uh, a high exposure to economic shocks, limited natural resources, tourism, uh, often as a major economic driver, food insecurity, and or malnutrition. And uh, now in mountains and islands, tourism and food sectors represent very often the most crucial industries. Uh, if well managed, uh, they can bring prosperity. If not, they can destroy even the most beautiful paradise. Therefore, the coalition of fragile ecosystems decided to choose tourism and food as entry points for development processes, focusing on the synergy uh, between sustainable tourism and sustainable food systems as a vehicle for change. Uh, one of the goals of the coalition is to create an international network of fragile ecosystems that are sustainable tourism destinations with sustainable food systems at their heart. And to discuss uh, these issues and the possible solutions, we had planned for the first international conference on fragile ecosystems. It was planned in 2020. It was expected to take place in 2020, but of course it had to be postponed until uh, uh, next year. Now, in terms of concrete actions, uh, COFI uh, planned a series of demonstration projects. Uh, two of them are con currently ongoing in Palau and the Philippines. Each project is different uh, depending on the context, uh, uh, but they all share similar goals. Uh, for example, they aim to strengthen the traditional food systems, promote healthy and balanced diets, uh, promote high quality local products. They aim to connect small scale producers with tourism service providers, with chefs and restaurants. Uh, they aim to raise awareness among visitors uh, to show them how they can support local biodiversity and local economy. And they put a strong emphasis on women and youth as agents of change. All the activities of the coalition actually build upon the experience gained by the Mountain Partnership in supporting smallholder producers in mountain areas. In particular, um, the Mountain Partnership Products Initiative, uh, which is a certification and label is labeling scheme for ethical, fair, and organic products. Uh, it has involved um, so far more than one, uh, 10 thousand farmers in eight countries, and it's been very successful. It was also selected as a global best practice by the Expo Dubai 2020. And when we refer to uh, local products, um, it's not just food. Uh, for example, we started last year uh, a collaboration with a fashion designer, Italian fashion designer, Stella Jean, uh, who works with local artisans and applies traditional design to contemporary fashion. 
so we have here cultural heritage as a driver of economic development. And the first experience was with a group of women artisans in the mountains of Kyrgyzstan. They use felt as a main product uh, with an ancient technique. And the result of the collaboration was a very successful capsule collection that was presented at the Milan Fashion Week. Uh, and it gave an incredible visibility to the group of artisans in Kyrgyzstan and the area, the mountain area where they, uh, where they live. Uh, so we are going to have new collection every year in a different, in a, in a different region and hope, hope to expand it. Now, going back to the demonstration projects of the coalition, the first project is in a mountain region uh, of the Philippines, the Cordilleras, and it's a project that worked on mapping agrobiodiversity, mapping the tourism stakeholders, labeling quality products, creating a chef alliance to promote the Cordilleras product, organizing uh, promotional events, and all farm farmers involved. Uh, became a part of the Slow Food International Network, which means that, that they will continue improving their skills along this process after project closure. And it's worth mentioning that uh, in parallel during project implementation, the Philippine government started promoting uh, food tourism and agritourism and uh, recognized the participatory guarantee system that we use to certify our projects, our, sorry, our products. Uh, and the second demonstration project is in Palau. We have here two uh, main components. One is the carbon calculator prototype for the tourism sector and the tourism value chain analysis. These activities helped us to understand the impact of tourism in terms of CO2 emissions and how to offset these emissions, uh, how to invest in sustainable food production that generates positive externalities or reduce or reduce CO2 emissions, and how to involve visitors and tourism stakeholders in, to support local food systems and producers. And in terms of food production and local food tourism, food systems, sorry. <coughs> uh, the second component is what we call the Kilometer Zero Food Initiative which is focusing on an international catalog of endangered heritage foods, uh, business and marketing training for the smallholder producers, uh, the Chef Alliance, the PGS, the certification uh, system for smallholder producers, and a number of events to promote food, uh, gastronomic heritage, environmental and cultural uh, values. Uh, this project also has a very strong focus on uh, uh, women, thanks to a collaboration with another FAO initiative, the FMM sub program Empowering Women in Seeds. And as a final remark, uh, the initiative is helping uh, Palau to become the first uh, carbon neutral country in the world. And I think that's it for me. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, over to you, Elias.